Hey guys, it's the Soul Cloth here today, and so this Monster Legends release video, I have pretty much everything about the brand new Ancestor monster. We have his moves, we have his traits, we have his virtues, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we are going to look at is his move set, and he's going to be an earth and fire tank with torture resistance and taunt. So, we're just going to go ahead and start from the bottom. He has a deals heavy earth damage to all enemies, which is very basic, not very great. He also has an applies burn to itself and heals itself by 30% and applies 50% damage mirror to itself that's a weird move i don't really like that i mean the heal and the 50 percent damage mirror is good but i'm not sure why he has to apply burn to himself then he also has a mutter earth damage and bleed to all enemies which is eh. and he has a deal is heavy earth damage to one enemy he can apply taunt and a 50 percent damage mirror which is pretty good and he also has a 50 percent damage mirror by itself and then he has a, an aoe burn and moderate fire damage he has trait protection and damage mirror very heavy earth damage and a bleed to itself and all enemies yeah he just doesn't seem very good he just does a lot of weird stuff i don't know why he has to apply all of his negative effects to himself before he applies them to the enemies that just makes him even worse than he already would be and he already wouldn't be very good good so yeah not sure how i feel about that it doesn't seem very great and then we have his virtues which is double damage and triple damage which are both pretty decent at least his requirement is receive seven tortures you can do that to yourself so i guess that's fine but yeah it doesn't seem very good his virtues are pretty decent but yeah the requirement is kind of annoying, and I don't like how he keeps applying effects to himself. And then we have the checklist right here if you want to know where any monsters are going to be in. Of course, Kellogg Rage Skin is the ancestor. And then, yeah, we have a bunch of other monsters confirmed. We also have a bunch that are not confirmed yet, though. And we will probably get those very soon. And then we have a Faction Coliseum update, so there's going to be a Coliseum shop, which is pretty cool i wonder what you'll get in it you'll probably just be able to buy some monsters stuff like that and then we have an upcoming monster challenge for blackberry blackberry isn't very great i guess it's okay but yeah not a very great monster and then we have an evolving trait for albinasa and it is going to be rank zero dodge area which is very very good rank one abomination and rank three random element hater so the dodge area rank zero is great because that is definitely our best trait so having it at rank zero is amazing the other two are decent i guess not super good though and then we have some information on the bounty we have all the monsters that you'll be able to get some of these are pretty decent some are not so decent though evil eye joe is pretty good love strikes pretty good same with varumamu and i'm not sure if Owlenia is very good but yeah the ones that i mentioned before are pretty decent the rest are not too great and then we have an evolving trait for kalita so we got immune to fear immune to ignite and burning and area burn that is a bad trait not really much more to say about it it's just a bad trait and then we have all of the fugitive names if you want to go ahead and read any of those for the new bounty hunt and then we also have an upcoming monster named dumbbang which is a nice name i guess i like it and yeah those are going to be all the leaks for this video let me know down in the comments what you guys think of all of these elites and what you guys think of the new ancestor monster personally i do not really like him and yeah it says in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye